Hello everyone and welcome to Spin Ties, a game which is very popular but I've never played it. Which to me is very strange because this is my cup of tea. This is the kind of game I like, so why I've never bought it, I've no idea. <laughs> because I know people who have played it, but I've never thought, oh I would like to play that as well. I don't know, it's just another one of my weird moments. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, now I've not played much of this, you can see um, if we choose a map, you can see how long I've played of each one. Two of them, it says zero hours, so probably oh, three minutes or something. Another one 0.1 hours and another one 0.3. And that was only to set up the controls. I've not actually played. Um, I've not done any objectives or anything, so this is totally new to me. I have seen a, a lot of videos on YouTube though, Let's Play videos of other people, uh, which I found thoroughly enjoyable due to the fact I like to see other people in the same situation of what I'm about to go through um, because I know they're going to do better than me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think we should probably choose a map and just see how well I can actually do it because I'm not really holding out too much hope. Uh, but we've got Coast, Flood, the Hill, Plains, the River and Volcano. I like the sound of Volcano so I think we're probably going to go with that. Um, and we have two different modes that you can start off with. You can have Casual or hardcore. In casual mode you can rescue to unlock garages. Diff lock doesn't damage the truck which I don't actually like um, but we'll, we'll go back to that later. Fuel consumption is lower than in hardcore. You can skip time and navigation route is visible in game. In hardcore damaged truck refuses to steer. Its engine has less power and stalls. You can't rescue to garages. You can't engage diff lock while using automatic gearbox mode. Fuel consumption is higher than in casual, you can't skip time, navigation is limited to distance and position of the next route node, um, and wheels would auto steer so that the truck moves downhill due to gravity. Um, now I would like to play in that mode, but as this is the first time ever that I've played the game, I think it would be uh, fairly stupid to go into that mode. So we're going to go into casual, um, and coming back to the diff lock, uh, I'm going to be very careful with diff lock, even though it's not going to damage the truck. I still want to be fairly realistic with it. So like, if I was on a straight piece of tarmac, I would not have diff lock engaged. So let's get cracking. We're going to start a new game. And um, let's see what we start off with here. There are three. Oh, well, I should probably say at this point, because I've never played before, I'm not entirely sure of what you actually have to do. I'm aware of there are, there are objectives, like you have to deliver fuel and lumber, um, but how you do that I have no idea so what I'm gonna do is jump into one of these now we're in this little you know 4x4 um, Jeep thing I'm not sure what it is um, but that is you know a bit small for me I like to drive the bigger machinery so um, what we'll do is we will transfer into another vehicle we've got this one with the lumber with a beacon look at that and we've also got uh, which one is it? This one here with the orange tanker, which I actually really like. I think that was like a really nice setup. So I'm going to probably go with that. I'm not sure if there is a particular order you're supposed to go in, or if you can just choose a machine out of the three and get cracking. Um, but I just quite like the idea of doing the fuel today. So um, whether or not we'll actually get to the fuel station or not, I have no idea. Um, but this is our minimap, and you can actually see that there is a gradient here, a very steep gradient. It's very um, high that by the look of it. So uh, we have fuel up the top of that. I don't know if you have to go round and then work your way up or if you can just go straight up the mountainside, I'm not sure. But there is also fuel over here. So I think what you have to do is go to the cloaking sections to remove that you know, that black circle that surrounds each section of the map to remove the cloaking. So I think we should probably head over in this general direction. It looks like we're going to be on a main road for the time being but then we're going to have to come off road and then probably through lots of mud, slop and water. So out of here, and we should probably start the engine. Um, now we do have a winch to help us if we have any issues. Wow, that is black smoke. Uh, so we have a gear stick here. Um, we have automatic mode, which is what we're in now, which is at the top right hand corner here. We have the top left hand corner, which I think is, I think it's automatic, but faster. I really don't know what that is for. We then have the manual mode, which is just here. That's manual forwards, and that is manual reverse. Um, you'd probably want to be in manual if you're really stuck in the mud. But for the time being, I'm going to stick in the automatic mode. 
Now uh, we have diff lock, we have all wheel drive and we have a winch. The winch is probably going to be the last thing we need but if we were in a really sticky situation we would be using it. The diff lock I will be using but I'll try and be careful with it and all wheel drive probably nearly all the time. So first of all I'm going to put all wheel drive on because I can see the mud in front of us is quite sticky and deep by the look of it. Uh, so we'll get cracking. I love the fact that you can see the wheels, you know they've got low tyre pressures. You can see them compressing and you can also see the mud sticking on the tyres. I should probably check that I'm going the right way here. Uh, because I'm not. We want to be going left. So I'll probably just reverse. Without jackknifing. Uh, now I'm doing this with my steering wheel and pedals, G27. Uh, it did take me a while to get the controls set up, but they do seem to be working now. I can see a problem with this, and it is that it's only got the front two wheels steering, and uh, it might be a little difficult when we get into a bad situation to get out of it with just those two wheels. But we'll try our best. Now if things go pear shaped, I would imagine this video will start to get quite boring. Now it probably will be amusing some of you um, if I do get tragically stuck, but at the end of the day that is what the game is about. That came across us really quickly. I've now got to reverse because I've gone an overshot. Now there's a few different camera modes which is different, it has to be said, to stuff like Farming Simulator. Um, because your position to the side of the vehicle, you can have an above cab view, but I don't really like that view. You've got the back, oh, we're getting stuck. You've got the front, and you've got above you, which is a bit loud. Now, uh, it looks like we're getting somewhere. But I need to make sure I know exactly where I'm going, otherwise I'm going to have to uh, turn around again and get stuck. Now we're now going to the darkness on the map with the cloaking area. So we want to be heading you know, somewhere over here in this direction. We should probably leave that on there. You can see we've set our point. Um, and as we're driving pretty much blind as we don't know the map at all, I could end up anywhere. I don't know if I should stick to the route or if I should go off the uh, route and try and avoid some of the mud. I don't know what the best thing to do is, but I'll continue as I am doing for now, as the mud isn't too bad. Although, how are we going to turn that corner? We're not going to be able to do that. We are never going to do that. Maybe if I took it Oh, we also have damage as well, by the way, if you uh, crash. Should probably turn diff lock off. Or maybe not, that didn't really work. Yeah, that is uh, very difficult. Oh, I've just noticed the, the front, front four tyres seem to be turning. I think. I don't think we're going to make it round here. The last thing I want to do is jackknife. And actually, no, the last thing I want to do is fall off a cliff. Because I know it's possible. You can roll these things. We seem to be doing it. Much to my surprise. Uh, my avatar up there, you may realise that it is not the same as my truck um, avatar logo from YouTube. That is my Steam account one. Very old that. I made that years ago. Okay, this is... Uh, I think I've come off the beaten track here. Uh, but I'm not going to be beaten. We want to plough through here. 
hopefully without taking damage. There's another track here, so I probably could have just gone around there, probably could have continued. In fact, I could. Well, well done, Dagoin. You've just messed up as usual. 11 damage. Um, as usual, I make stuff harder than it should be. Uh, so, yeah, the tricky thing is you don't actually know how, where the road goes because of the cloaking. Now, I'm hoping that you sort of go around here in a U shape to get to that cloaking because you can cut across if I really wanted to. But it's just not that appealing going through a forest with however heavy this machine is, it's, it's pretty big. I don't know which the best way to go is. Maybe up there. Turn left now. The steering really is not great. I was going to try and uh, not use diff lock too much, but it seems that we're going to have to have it continually on this road. Or, I should say, mud track. moving at least. We could be three foot deep in mud. Now I don't want to uh, miss the uh, cloaking which I seem to have totally done. What? Okay, we'll, we'll head for the fuel then instead. I think the map is smaller than I initially thought. That's why I seem to be going further than I think I am doing. I think the cloaking's up there. Now you can remove the trailer, and I could go over there without the trailer, but I don't think that's the best of ideas. Just in case we can't get it back on again in the mud. We also don't have much fuel, which I didn't even realise. There's cloaking. Cloaking removed. So that has removed... Has it removed? Oh, I think it has removed. Yes, it's removed this area here. Not that bit there, though. So, hmm. Fuel is an issue now. That was a mistake. I desperately need to get the fuel. I don't know where you refuel, but... Uh, we're going to have to get some. You can probably tell that I've never played before. So... All of you who have played, um, if you've got any good tips for me, and not tips like be better at the game, then uh, I'll greatly appreciate that. Uh, it's the steering which is getting me. It's really not that effective. I don't know how much fuel we were on when we first started, but we're in the red now, so I don't know what I've done so drastically wrong. I think there is another cloaking straight ahead, but I think we should probably go for the fuel. Is that 23 litres per minute I'm consuming? Because that is a lot of fuel. No wonder the smokes are black. Here's the fuel. I don't know if this is just for the tank or if I can actually put some in the, the cab of the tractor unit as well. Uh, but we, we desperately need it. It's good to be back on tarmac. Oh, I've gone and crashed into the fuel station. We'll turn diff lock off, we'll turn all the drive off as well, see if it can do it. This is the camera mode which is doing this, I really cannot get used to them yet anyway. So, what do I do 
Ah. Refueled. Oh, we've filled up the... Uh... Right, the tractor unit has now got fuel in. The trailer, though, has that got fuel in? It's empty. Yeah. This is where I'm confused. Um, is that this place here just for refueling the lorry? Or am I supposed to be carrying something? I'm, I'm supposed to be... F oh, here we go. Uh, that's it, isn't it? That must be it. So this fuel now wants to go to an objective, which is, oh, what, here? That is a long way. How do we get there? I need to remove some cloaking. We've now got fuel, so that's good at least. We will drive forwards for now, remove this cloaking, and go from there, I think. I should say for those of you who haven't played before, running diff lock and oil drive does consume more fuel, as you would expect. So that has removed some more cloaking. It doesn't remove much at a time, but this one here, that one must take this whole circle away. So that is the one we want to head for. We were almost at it, but I carried on for fuel because we were so desperate for it. Um, now the only thing which strikes me there is if we were to go back here we might not be able to cut across to our objective we should probably continue on this road here through this cloaking to get to our objective I always press escape so I don't know what the best thing to do is certainly not reverse it into a river I have uh, come into another sticky situation here. Oh, the trees! Look at that, we have got a tarmac road. We'll turn diff lock off, and we'll now turn all the drive off, so we should now be using less fuel, considerably less fuel. And we can also get to gear two. Look at that. Gear two. We're also heavier as well. Whoa. Stick on the road. As we have, I believe, I think we do at least, I think we have a full trail load. So, it's going to be much harder to pull. There we go. We're back on the solid ground. I will have to keep checking the map though, just because it seems to... You seem to come off course very easily, if you don't keep an eye on it. But we're okay at the moment. vehicle. To unlock vehicles all you have to do is drive next to them. But that is two more found. That is a long way from us. We should probably continue though. More cloaking. Come on, we've got diff lock, all-wheel drive. We're now 
on the sand. So what's that done for us? It doesn't really seem to remove much. I don't know if you have to remove them all for it to then show or something, I don't know. Because I'm new to this. There is obviously something I'm missing here. If only you could get these physics in Farming Simulator. It would be incredible. It really would. It makes you wonder though, if, if they can do it in this game, why can't they do it in Farming Simulator? Is it the game engine isn't strong enough or something? I don't know. There's got to be a reason. Now this is feeling a bit harder to get through. I suppose we're dragging that trailer along. I think we're going the right way. I think we are, but like here, do I drive through there or do I go round? Because you can't really go round. But then you get damage if you get anything in your cab. Looks like other people have tried it. Let's floor it. I should probably stay fairly central as well because I'm sure we'll probably drop off the edge to a deep bit if we don't stay where the people have been. It should give our uh, wheels a clean at least. I feel to be sinking. Dangerous water level, this isn't good. I really am sinking, aren't I? We're digging deep. Come on, you've got to pull through this. There's nothing we can winch to. Come on! Is it actually, it's not moving is it? Oh it might be. I think we are about a millimetre an hour. Keep turning my wheels to try and loosen it a bit. We need to get to the shallower stuff. Come on! Oh, the cloaking's over there. How do I get there? I'm damaging, I'm sinking. Right, reverse, come on. This is not good. Oh, the, the water's coming in the cab, I've wet myself. Oh, that's better. That seems to be back on track. Oh no! No, what's happening, I think, is the wheels are digging in, we're sinking. We probably shouldn't have come in here with such a heavy load on. You know, if I don't make it, I'd love to hear what everyone says about it, if they've done this one. I can try again. But, I don't know, this is, uh, this is not good. If I stop, I get damaging. Look at that. This was a mistake. It didn't look too bad before I drove in here. It's actually... The current is pulling... The truck. Feel it. I really don't know what to do. Some time later, and quite a bit of damage later, I've actually turned around. You're probably hoping I was going to say, I've actually made it to the other side, but no, we are back where we started. 
but that's better than uh, losing it in the, the, the sea here. It's also going dark. Um, <laughs> what on earth do I do here? What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to go around because this is just not possible in this one. Or maybe it is possible, it's just I can't do it. Most likely. So let's pull ourselves to safety. Um, there is nothing you can actually winch to anyway. So, um, I think, because I really want to get this done, um, I think I'll probably park up and uh, let me know your thoughts on this, because I might be doing it totally wrong anyway. I probably am. And you're probably screaming at the screen. But I would like to know if anyone has done this, if they have any tips for me at all. Or if you can tell me if I'm going the right way, because knowing me I'm probably going the wrong way. So I think we will just stop here. But I don't know, that was uh, difficult that was. Really difficult. So it's definitely given me a good idea of what Spin Ties has to offer. And yes, it's definitely entertaining, but it's also, I don't know, it, it, it makes you feel like you're really in it. You've got to be uh, very careful about how you drive these things. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.